Skilled assassin, Henry Brogan is hiding in a field. He's waiting for his target, Valerie Dormov, who is believed to be a terrorist, to come by on a train. Right when Henry is about to act, his partner, Marino, tells him there's a little girl with Dormov. They have to wait until she's gone before Henry can take the shot. Henry successfully hits Dormov in the neck. Later, Marino shares a video with Henry, showing how people on the train reacted to Dormov's death. Henry tells Marino to delete the video because he doesn't want to remember, or have any images of that moment in his mind. Henry chooses to quit the life of an assassin. His handler, Del Patterson, pays him a visit. During their conversation, Henry shares his regret about the many lives he has ended throughout his career. He reflects on how one mistake could have cost the life of the little girl he encountered earlier. Henry goes to rent a boat and meets the new manager of the shop, Danny Zakarweski. Afterward, he meets his friend Jack Willis. Jack reveals that Dormov was not a terrorist but an innocent man who worked as a molecular biologist in the United States for 30 years. Jack believes that someone tampered with Henry's file on Dormov. When Henry questions the source of this information, Jack reveals that his informant in Budapest, Yuri Kovacs, provided the details. He passes on this information to Henry. But, the entire conversation is secretly monitored by the DIA director, Janet Lassiter, and Gemini director, Clay Varis. Clay instructs Lassiter to figure out a way to handle Henry. Henry returns to the shop and becomes suspicious of Danny, thinking she might be working with the DIA, and following him. When he confronts her, she denies it. Feeling bad about his suspicions, Henry apologizes and invites Danny to dinner. During their outing, it is revealed that Danny is indeed with the DIA but she explains that she is following in her father's FBI footsteps. Henry takes this opportunity to discuss his decision to retire, and explains the reasons behind leaving his life as an assassin behind. Later that night, a group of insurgents secretly board Jack's boat with the intention of killing him and his girlfriend, eventually dumping their bodies into the water. Shortly after, Henry wakes up at home and realizes that intruders are breaking in. In an attempt to warn his partner, Marino, he hears him getting killed over the phone. With no other option, Henry has to flee. He manages to defend himself by eliminating the attackers and then goes to Danny's house to alert and protect her. Henry deduces that Danny is likely not involved in the plot since she appears unaware of the danger. Worried for her safety, he believes she might be the next target. While Danny is alone for a brief moment, a mercenary attacks her. But, she manages to overpower him, extracting information forcefully, even knocking out a few of his teeth. During this intense encounter, Danny confirms to Henry that the orders came from Lassiter. Henry and Danny take a boat to a secluded location, and there they encounter Henry's pilot friend, Baron. Concerned about the unfolding events, Henry reaches out to Dell, to understand the situation better. He learns that Gemini is collaborating with the DIA to eliminate their agents. It becomes clear that Dormov was connected to Gemini, and Henry begins to make sense of Clay's role in the unfolding conspiracy. Henry inquires with Danny about her knowledge of Gemini, learning that it is a paramilitary organization led by Clay. Clay initially approached Henry and Baron, knowing them from their time as Marines, but both declined his offer. The trio temporarily relocates to Cartagena, Colombia. While in their hotel room, Henry notices a shooter moving across nearby rooftops. Reacting swiftly, Henry confronts the shooter, only to discover that the person looks exactly like him and goes by the name, Junior. Junior possesses the same skill set as Henry, making him a formidable opponent. Their confrontation becomes intense as they both ride motorbikes, with Junior attempting to strike Henry using his flaming bike before it explodes. But, before Junior can deliver a fatal blow, authorities arrive, causing him to flee. In an effort to keep Henry safe, Baron and Danny unofficially take him into custody, as they head to a safer location. Realizing that their next move is to gather more information from Yuri, in Budapest, Henry and his companions, with the help of Baron, secure a plane to get them to their destination. Junior retreats to his safe house to attend to his injuries, where he is met by Clay. In their interaction, Clay fosters a father-son dynamic with Junior, explaining the origin of the nickname Junior. Junior is amazed at Henry's ability to evade his attacks and maneuvers, Clay later reveals to Junior the training exercises that other Gemini operatives undergo, providing insight into the organization's methods. Danny discloses to Henry that she sent DNA samples from him and the cap worn by Junior for analysis. The results reveal that Junior is a clone of Henry. 
Henry is left puzzled and confused about why a clone of himself would be created with the intent to kill him. Upon arriving in Budapest and meeting Yuri, he informs Henry that he is also opposed to Clay. Yuri reveals that Dormov collaborated with Gemini on a cloning project. Dormov's goal was to create clones with enhanced strength and intelligence, but Clay wanted soldiers without consciences and the capacity to destroy. Dormov distanced himself from the project and became a target for elimination. Henry takes proactive measures by sending a messenger to inform Lassiter that he is aware of her involvement, and threatens retaliation if she sends another assassin after him. In an attempt to negotiate, Henry proposes a deal to Lassiter, if she sends Junior to him, Danny will be allowed to return safely to the US, Lassiter agrees to the arrangement and organizes for Junior to be sent to Budapest. Subsequently, Junior and Danny meet in a garden, Junior instructs Danny to strip down to ensure she isn't wearing a wire. After complying, he takes her into custody and informs Henry of the situation, hoping to draw him closer. The two parties agree to meet at a specific location. During the journey, Danny attempts to engage Junior in conversation, aiming to demonstrate that he is more than the cold-blooded killer he was engineered to be. When she questions why he is pursuing Henry, Junior reveals that he was led to believe Henry killed the other Gemini operatives targeted by the organization. Henry successfully apprehends Junior and frees Danny. In a tense confrontation, Henry conveys to Junior that he doesn't wish to kill him, but will do so if necessary. He opens up to Junior about Clay's true nature and identity, revealing the emptiness they both feel unless engaged in killing. Junior struggles to accept the revelation that he is a clone. Despite Henry's efforts to make him see the truth, Junior engages in a fierce fight with Henry, almost succeeding in killing him. Danny intervenes just in time, allowing Junior to escape. Returning to Gemini, Junior confronts Clay and demands the truth. Clay confirms Junior's identity as a clone but manipulates him, assuring Junior that he is superior to Henry and claiming him as his own son. After returning home, Junior encounters Henry, Danny, and Baron. In a surprising move, he administers bee venom to Henry, aware that they both share an allergy to bees. However, Junior quickly administers an EpiPen to prevent serious harm. Junior decides to join forces with the trio to put an end to Clay's plans for good. Curious about his own potential life, Junior asks Henry more questions about his past. As they drive into town, Clay contacts Junior and urges him to flee. The situation takes a dangerous turn when they are ambushed by an unexpected attack involving a tank. Henry, Danny, and Junior jump out of the van. But tragically, Baron is killed when the tank explodes. The danger escalates as more Gemini operatives, including one heavily armored and armed with a machine gun, join the assault. Despite the odds, Henry and Junior manage to eliminate the operatives, but the heavily armored one remains a formidable foe. Junior confronts Clay, engaging in a fierce battle that ends with Junior knocking Clay unconscious. They also subdue and ultimately kill the heavily armored clone, revealing another clone of Henry. Clay regains consciousness, explaining that the entire plan aimed to reduce the cost of human life in warfare, with Henry being the perfect candidate. Junior, conflicted but determined, points his gun at Clay. But, Henry intervenes, preventing Junior from carrying out the act and sparing him from the trauma of killing. Instead, Henry takes matters into his own hands, deciding to end Clay's life by blasting a hole in his chest. In the aftermath, the Gemini program is shut down, putting an end to the existence of clones. Henry and Danny reunite on a college campus, where they find Junior, now going by the name, Jackson Brogan, and using Henry's mother's maiden name. The trio walks off together, marking a new chapter in their lives.